Uh, COP28, let's talk about COP28, right? So the boss man of COP28, the host, Sultan al-Jabbar, has caused a stir after claiming there was no science. Well, he didn't actually. A newspaper said he said that. He's quite distinctly stood up and said there is science and petroleum has to be phased out. No, you're not agreeing with me, Isabel? I thought the man was emphatic by actually saying, no, I believe that petrochemicals do not have a say in the, in the future. Don't know. Right, OK. Pass. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, but you. anyway, so, so the usual, they all, you know, attack him. And he's been forced to clarify his comments, which I think he did. And he says he was misrepresented. Well, as you remember, this time yesterday, we were discussing the whole subject. And the meteorologist and social commentator Jim Dale joined us. He didn't hold back. Uh, he hit out at environmental hypocrisy and climate deniers. Let's take a look. I don't, I'll tell you what, it was a shame we haven't got Richard Tyson on this morning from, from uh, the leader of, of Reform UK, because I'd like to say to him, are you climate deniers? I bet they would say no. I mean, I'd, I've never had that discussion with them. Man-made you know. climate deniers. Is the, there's a difference, OK? There's a big difference. You, you're right. I mean, I mean, to be honest with you, I feel Richard Tyson is running away from me sometimes. I really well, want... to try and make that happen. Make Don't it happen. I've got no problem with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll see if we can get that to happen yeah, it on would be good. this programme. It, it, well, ask and you shall receive, and we have uh, the man himself, Richard Tice, uh, here today. Thanks for coming in, Richard, and uh, accepting. Great pleasure. I enjoyed the debate yesterday morning. I thought we've got to get it, make it were happen. Were you shouting yeah. at the telly? I was shouting at the telly at Jim. <laughs> yeah. And what were you saying? I was saying, Jim, let's have a debate. <laughs> and, and what, Jim, is the point that you would like to put to Richard, where you think uh, he and you differ on? Well, thanks, first of all, Richard, for picking up the baton. It's, it's, it's good to have a conversation rather, right. than, rather than not. So uh, great to be here. I think the point is it's, it's the messages that go out in terms of the, the climate, man-made climate denial side of things and what that actually is meaning in terms of globally the people that it's affecting and the direction of travel that we're going in. And I feel you're rowing backwards. You're not seeing the light. You're not seeing what so eminent scientists, are better, much better than me, make that absolutely clear. Climatologists, uh, NASA, NOAA, uh, WMO, uh, Hadley Centre for Met Office, they, 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 they speak my but words. There's you, no such thing don't. as settled science. We all agree the climate has changed for billions of years. It always will. My point is, anybody that suggests that you can stop climate change, I believe is misinformed, deeply misinformed. Of course, man-made CO2 has an impact. There is a serious scientific debate as to what percentage that is and what you do about it. Look, climate change is caused by solar variability, by sea level oscillation, by volcanic activity. The idea that man can be so arrogant you think you can stop that is a nonsense. So you don't feel that fossil fuels and the CO2, if you go back to your school days, say in geography, you learn about the greenhouse effect. Let's, let's make this simple for the viewers. Let's make this absolutely simple. The greenhouse effect uh, basically puts global temperatures up. That's what happens. That's what we call a greenhouse a greenhouse. That's how plants live So how did, better. How, how, how did the Earth warm up? So 3,000 years ago, when it was two degrees warmer than it is now, when in Yorkshire what? they were growing grapes for delicious yeah, Yorkshire were, claret. They were very... Because that's what... There was no man-made CO2 that was, then. That was, that's natural let's cycles. Let's something clear. That time and other times, in terms of the, the recent past, because re recent past, they are, they are, they've been regional warms. That's what happens sometimes. You do get a spell. And humans adapt to it. The no, question now, is how we now adapt. We're in, now we're in a different sphere. This is about global. You can go from the Antarctica on one side to the Arctic on the other, and Everything in between is being affected by not just only what's in the atmosphere, but particularly what's in the oceans and the ocean temperatures. You can't have missed what's been going on. It's particularly in it's the last two years. It's called climate change. It's, it's called climate change, but it's accelerated. If you look at those graphs of CO2, uh, the greenhouse effect, and then temperature, you will see it looks like the face of the Eiger in the last, so, in the last few years. So Norway's equivalent of our Office for National Statistics, Statistics has just produced a 123-page report where they say the effect of man-made CO2 emissions does does not appear to be strong enough to cause systematic changes in the temperature fluctuations in the last 200 years. Surprise, surprise, that's had no coverage here in the UK. But it has in Norway. Norway is a very successful, uh, Norway, very well informed. Norway happens to be an uh, right? oil producing it's, it's a, a, a country. Which has also got a huge, it's got a huge renewable industry, mm -hmm. and that's their view. The point is, Jim, no one's denying that the climate changes. It's what you do about it. Even it's Tony Blair, same. even Tony Blair said net zero it's in the it, UK will make no difference it's globally. The, it's the speed. It's the speed of these things. 
because that's what we, we're concerned about. If it, if it was just poking along and there's a little bump here and a little, nobody's going to have a problem with it. No scientists, no, no NASA's not going to get on, on their high horse and, and say there's something wrong here. There is something wrong. These people send, send, send spacecrafts to, to pick up dust off a comet and bring it back. I'm pretty sure that they are at, at, at the finer point of climate change and what that means. And by the way, you know perfectly well uh, when we get to the end of December, 2023 will be the warmest, hottest year uh, globally that we've seen in terms of recent modern times. And, and in recent is, modern times, but yeah. 3,000 years ago, it was two no, degrees no, warmer. Not, we adapt, that was, Jim. That was That's what we do. May, may I interrupt? Because you're both disagreeing on the cause of the challenge that we face today. You're saying, what do we do about it? Are you saying that you don't need to, we don't need to change our course of action at all? No, I'm, I'm that, saying, that, look, that of course you reduce... impact what, is not having anything to do... The, with there's a scientific the debate and, about yeah. what is the percentage of, of, of man-made CO2 emissions and how much impact that has. My point is, yes... Of course we reduce harmful emissions. I've got an electric well, why? car. why? If I've not got, having any impact. Because, because you, want to, you want cleaner air, you want to protect your own environment. That's different you want, to climate change. You want cleaner air, but you're in favour of you, Les, for a start. No, I, I, I'm not in, I'm not in favour of impoverishing the least well off. ULES, ULES makes no it's difference. Speak. London's air is the cleanest it's ever been. The idea that it's toxic, but the it only toxic now. air is in the tube. London's air is the cleanest it's ever been. All you're doing with ULES is impoverishing people. My, my issue, uh, Isabel, is you can't impoverish a nation, force people to be poorer, send our jobs and money overseas when they're building 300 coal-fired power stations in India and China that's causing far more CO2 emissions. Although you could say in America, part of the reason that they're doing well tackling their problems with inflation and interest rates is because they've invested in a big green agenda. They've said they're going to invest, growing. but they're, not going to, they're actually not going to do it because the offshore renewable wind industry is in complete turmoil, people are losing billions of pounds. There's a reason why we're so uncompetitive with high energy costs, because we've got the greatest percentage of offshore renewable wind. Well, look, you can have that as part of a mix, but don't let it make it so expensive that we become uncompetitive. And most Richard, importantly, you, you cannot you impoverish the least... 28, Richard? No, I think it's, a, it's an, an 80,000-person jamboree with a whole load of private jets. It's ridiculous. Why not have it on Zoom? Too, too, far too many people there, a lot of them pushing we the, agree. Oil, the oil agenda. Yeah, we can agree on that one. But, but in, look, in, in the end, you've got to see the sense on this. You've got to see the science and follow the science. And it is proper science that we're actually Scientists looking at Scientists disagree. It. It's you, how science progresses. Richard, you are the, the pie piper of climate change denial. That's exactly what's going on. You, you've got people I've, following you who, who, who are clueless as to what's going on. Jim, I've literally just said the climate's always changed and always will. No, the deniers are those who think you can the stop reason it. reason why, the prime reason why is fossil fuels. Go back to geography. You, you, you are, you are misleading aspect. people if you say you can stop climate change. Do you think if we get to net zero, climate change stops? Do we, if we get to net zero, climate change stops. Uh, to, a, to a degree, we're going in that direction. We're already starting. The, the IPCC, doing, the IPCC report... Off, you're cutting off the economic prowess of this country by, by that, that kind of denial, that kind of rowing back. That, net, just as Sunak's doing, exactly the same. Net zero is the greatest the financial fence. liability this country's ever voluntarily imposed on itself. It's sending our jobs and money I, I, overseas. I wonder what we've got, we've got are. zero growth. Richard, we've got I zero growth. Your motives we, are we, for saying what you say. Because, is, is I, because power, I, I don't want to impoverish. I don't want to impoverish ordinary families when it makes no, no difference to climate change. You're denying the future. Uh, 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 you, you know, you talk about the environment. You, you're denying the future for these families. That's exactly what you do. Nonsense. You, you, you know, you will see. What, you can't have missed what's gone on in the last two years in terms of the catastrophes, the difficulties. 40.3 degrees C in, in uh, two years ago in the summer of uh, uh, 2022. Uh, Record-breaking temperatures uh, in, in terms of most... Weather disasters in the last year. 20 years have not shifted. They're almost yes, they exactly are. the same they, number. They are now five burned areas, more. Burned areas across the world, 30% lower than so 20 you, years ago. Look at the real out, data. You, you're reading off a of script. Yeah, because I've got facts the, and data, Jim. No, no, you're coming out of Tufton Street. I know where that comes from, OK? We know where many of, much of this information... This comes from NASA. This is, this this is, is literally a NASA, NASA statistic that's about... not NASA. The burned area is a NASA Absol statistic. Absolutely not. There's, this, no, there's this been no the increase in, the, in storms and tornadoes in the USA where in the, the last 40 to 50 becomes, years. It almost becomes factual. Well, it's not. It's actually not, which is why the likes of NASA, NOAA, Met Office, and, um, you know, as I say, I can see it as a mutualist for 40 years. I've seen the changes with my own eyes. It's part of my... Do you agree that scientists disagree? 
Uh, it's how about, science about, progresses. Uh, your side, the 3% at the top, the 97% of climatologists do not disagree. 97%. That 97% okay, so figure is a complete not, con based on, uh, based no, on a you survey do, you do a lot better in, in 2012. You do a lot better as a political party, if you really... Well, we're doing quite well, this. actually. We're rising in the polls, Jim. That's a separate point. Yeah, we well, won't get This there, is a cross-party sure. point. The point is, climate's always changed. It's what you do about it. Do the smart things. Do the don't, smart things. Don't impoverish people. Don't send our jobs and money overseas when the likes of China are still building well, coal-fired let's, power let's stations. Talk, let's talk positively about what we need to do. And that's, that's and why is, the Green and is agenda, it a problem? the environmental agenda, the p anti pollution agenda is something that you should have. Can, can you two agree on something that you need to do? Smile. <laughs> oh, we're, both smiling. we're good at we're both smiling, smiling, Jim. <laughs> we're well, good I at think smiling. We agree to disagree on the panel then this morning. Um, we appreciate your impassioned debate this morning. I don't know if it's changed minds at home. Let us know what you think of that. GBviews at gbnews.com or you can tweet us at gbnews.